Oh, there you go. So, so that Hey you guys, we're back at camp. We're out in the woods. Uh, we've got a special product to show you today. People from Camp Lux has sent us this tankless water heater. It's great for showering, uh, dishes, hot water, whatever you need hot water for in the woods. Sure beats uh, boiling water and then trying to wash dishes like that. Or if you want a hot shower on a cold day, it's not cold now, but sometimes you just don't want a cold shower. So we're gonna do the unboxing and show you how it works and check it out. So they've got a couple colors. There's a couple models too. There's one model without all the accessories and hoses and stuff. This one came with everything, so we'll have all the links below. Here's one of the hoses. You can actually draw water either out of your jerry can or right out of the lake. I would advise, we're, we're not sitting by a lake right now, but, or a river. I, if you're going to do that, I would get a filter from Home Depot, an inline filter maybe just to try to keep the pump clean, filter the water a little bit. But everything comes in a nice packaging. This is probably the water pump. So, a bunch of tools. Hopefully we can show you everything, but it looks like there's gonna be a little work involved. Here's the hot water hose. This is the 12 volt uh, input for your power station, which you need to run. So you need a power station, you need water, and you need some propane. They also give you alligator clips if you have just a battery. You can hook it straight up to a regular battery. We're gonna use our Blue Eddy power station. It's a really long cord. This goes to the pump. It's got a nice switch. This will go to your DC plug. Or you can plug it straight into your, your vehicle as well if you want. Got that. Uh, we haven't figured out, we're gonna mount it somewhere probably, but we have to figure that out. This looks like the hot water hose. This is like the deluxe model. It comes with the, the spray nozzle. It's got a couple of settings on it. Here's the water pump. Now, you need this if you're gonna draw water out of a can or out of the lake or a river. You don't need this if you're at a regular camping spot that has uh, electric and a um, water full hookup, then you can just hook it straight in and it doesn't need a pump. If you have, you know, it's something that's pressurized. If you have water that's coming out of somewhere pressurized, then you can just use that. But in most cases, you're gonna need the pump. They got some instructions. It's a hot one today. So it's about 11 and a half inches wide and 11 and a half inches wide, 20 inches from the bottom of the connection to the top of the handle to give you an idea on the size of it. So yeah, we're going to mount it right here on this tr little tree stump, which is something you can do. You know, that's how portable and nice it is. It's got some really nice knobs on it gas minimum and maximum flow water maximum and minimum flow all right so and it does come with quick connect connectors now you can see that super sunny out and the gas lines are already pre-installed on here and you just got to run it to your tank so this is the hot water you just got to run the So this is the line that's gonna go to your nozzle. Yeah, so here's the quick connector. This is where you're gonna get your hot water from. So you just put it right on like that, it's super easy. This goes to your shower head, or your, your spray head actually. So that part's done. We got, let me just show you. We'll get the rest of this hooked up and then we'll show you. So the blue hose, here's the quick connect. This is your uh, water inlet. So wherever you're getting your water from will come into here. And everything's really labeled well on the uh, instructions and the quick setup. Nice color 
You can't see that probably because of the sun. But I'll, I'll show a close up at home and put put it pictures in. Super simple. Just tighten it on. You got the quick connect. Make sure you kind of hear it snapping. So there, you got your freshwater inlet. So yeah, if you were gonna run this out of a lake or river, I would go to Home Depot, get one of those inline water filters just to be safe and not mess up the pump because this this side will now go to the pump like this. Yeah, this is the outlet side. And you're gonna wanna trim these hoses to whatever length. It's got uh, clamps so you can tighten it on the pump. I'm probably not gonna do that right now just cause we're not sure what length we'll need. And, and then this other side will go, so that's the outlet side of the pump which will feed the water into water heater. This is the inlet side which will go from your water source. So that's how the pump should look when you're done with it. Uh, you're going to want to mount it somehow probably, or it just depends on how your setup's going to be. You can keep it portable. We're going to hang it up wherever you're going to put, put it. You know, if you're out in the woods like this and you need to spot find a tree, plenty of mounting hardware and other, you know, the hose clamps, you're going to want to really uh, fix it up nice wherever you decide to put it. You can just mount something on this. We may just mount, uh, put up some posts on our rack and use it like that, or we might mount it on the side of the camper. I'm not sure yet. Here's the power cord. It's got a little cover over the connector. And you just hook it into the connector on the pump. So that's why you need portable power of some sort, just to run the pump. Pump and everything hooked up. Here's your inlet hose. You're going to put that into your water source, which for today is our jerry can. And then you want to hook up the gas line to the propane. All pretty basic stuff. We're plugged into our Blue Eddy over here. We have our switch to turn on here. So let's just double check everything. So at this point, we are going to pause the video because everything is included except you need two D batteries for the ignition of the flame and they don't include that which that's understandable and we didn't realize that so we'll finish this video in just a bit two D batteries will go in here and that's how you get the ignition unbox prior because you de you definitely do not want to be out at some site out at some area and no. you just have your d pass. batteries with you i love the setup i think i actually like it if we can hook it onto the rig and then sometimes we can actually just de-hook it and just like right now we've been out hiking and out doing stuff you can just hook it to where you've actually parked set up you know we're cooking a little meal i can set up and get ready to do dishes or whatever you're gonna do so i actually love the portability of this um so i am super excited because sometimes you can't always get You just get gotta your... undo the propane and undo the quick connect water lines and you're done. And you're done. It's and quick. Because sometimes you can't always get your rig right to where you book it. So I like that you could actually unhook it and just place it somewhere. Just a thought, especially if you're someone like us where you're kind of like in multiple different locations. Well, with the mounting options, you know, like I said, you can hang this over the tree like we did. So we're back at camp. We've got the batteries in. It's an automatic igniter. So when it detects water at the machine itself, the unit over here, the pump we got just sitting on the bed, it will ignite the flame and start heating the water. Now it does get hot. You can, we have it on like minimum gas, so minimum temperature. And we have it on almost minimum water flow. You can adjust those. So it'll automatically ignite the flame, start heating the water. I noticed if you, once you turn the pump on, the water starts flowing. This has a shut off button here. If you shut this off, the pump will stop eventually. So I guess it's it's a safety feature to prevent the water from keep flowing into the unit and not coming out. So then you just have to turn the pump off. But so we got it going already. Let's try it again and show you guys. So like I said, we just did a little bit of cooking when we're out here. We stopped. So we're gonna flip the pump on and then it's, you'll maybe can hear it igniting. So we're ready to go. So I had, you know, like I said, we just did a little bit of cooking when we stopped. So I have my wash basins we just kind of put on the back of our truck. That's what you're doing when you're boondocking all the time. I filled up one of my basins with some water for my soap. This is my rinse water. And I have to tell you, that's like super warm. Oh my, it's, it's on, actually almost, almost a little hot. It's on the minimum setting almost. Oh, a minimum set. You don't, you need like low. Cause it, I mean, it's really, really warm. So I've got my rinse water going. You could actually just use this to go ahead and I've already rinsed some of my stuff, rinse out some of your things, set those aside if you wanted to. 
And the nozzle up on the side has three adjustments, it looks like. Try that out. Oh, there you go. So Ooh, that would be nice if you took a shower. Taking a shower, yeah. Try the other one at the top. Go all the way to the top. There's three. That is the top one. Oh. And then there's the two. middle and then off. So that one I would use more for rinsing. So you probably would like a nice hot shower, right? It'd work great. Oh, I have to say, it's pretty, if you put this on the top one, just to show you, that's pretty powerful and it's really wicked warm. So like you could actually get under there, hook up our dual joka and kind of get in there. I'm gonna turn this off so I don't use all of our water. Put the pump off then. So I have to say that actually works out really well because I can actually, a lot of times you want to wash your dishes and you want warm water. You know, you, you, you're you sitting there, you have to take a bunch of pots, boil it up. Well, and especially- A lot of times it's like multiple pots just to kind of get enough rinsing water. So here you're actually able to just, in just a couple of moments, get everything set up, get your basins ready, get your dishes soaking, and then get your water basins ready to go. And I have to say, it's nice. I like, you know, you can't really wash dishes well unless they're in warm water. Well, and how about like in the winter, this would be great. This will be really nice in the winter. And then I have my rinse, let me wash that. So let's take a look at the main units. Yeah, we're not gonna do a we're shower not out today. We're showering, but... but I can tell you, I'm already gonna really like that for like the shower aspect because it has a nice amount of pressure. So here's the knobs. They're really nice. Um, so you can see. So there's all the hookups. You can see we're almost to near minimum, and she said it was just super hot. You do not have. And to we're on that. Yeah. almost near minimum water flow. So, oh yeah, we didn't even try it on high flow water. We should try that out. I think this is a little window to see the flame. It's kind of bright out, so I can't see that. There's definitely a lot, their heat does come off of here. This gets really hot up here, so be careful. There's all the fittings. There you go, dish is done. There's the pump that comes with it. We just have the pump sitting right here. Those are our, I love these. They are the um, breakdown, press down, okay, but we don't need that. little wash buckets. So super easy. You can pull up somewhere, pop down the trunk the and switch. set up your gear. It's a really you. nice shower head. The switch itself is really nice. So you've uh, got the little multiple things that you can put it on. This is the power one. This one has like a little bit of rain it shows and then it's a little bit lighter in the middle. And then this is a full force rain one. But all of those would be really nice when you're taking a shower. That'd be so super it all easy. disconnects and hooks up pretty easily. Super easy. I definitely would recommend this system. I believe brand new, it's right around 250. You just need a little tank and a jerry can or run it right out of the creek somewhere, which we'll try that eventually. I'm gonna say literally just for us with camping, a lot of time we're boondock, we're out in like really some off grid areas. Having warm water and being able to wash your dishes, um, especially since we camp year round, summer, spring, fall, winter will be really nice a lot of times in the winter you can't even even the fall it's so cold it's hard to get warm water going it takes forever you can't get your stuff washed this is going to be a game changer to being able to like wash your stuff get everything cleaned up usually we're bringing like simple stuff that i can just throw away but this is well gonna be, and make i think it so much even nicer. if you wanted to even melt some ice so stuff gets iced up um I'm not sure how well it'll run in the winter with the pump, but it should probably. But we'll even like if out, you're obviously. off grid, we didn't get to really show using the shower tent or using it for washing. But I'm going to tell you, even when it gets cool, um, this will be super nice. You can warm up your water and just do One even a little. One thing I would back. think I would like if they could figure out is, but I guess we can just put a hook on here. So we could just a hook way this. to hang that would be nice. Yeah, or you can somehow hook it up onto your rack, or and then you would have your shower tent. You'd put it up in there and just use it like that. And how many gallons is this baby? So we have our seven gallon jerry can and so that's like it's still almost full. Yeah, so that's plenty of water to do a couple loads of dishes. The best way though is if shower. you're out at a creek or a river, you can just dump this thing and let it suck water out of the river and not have to worry about hauling water. I would definitely, we will get a, an inline filter just to be safe. You don't want to damage the pump. The pumps are like 40 bucks by themselves. There is a model of this that comes without the pump and all the extra stuff so but it's a real nice shower head good quality plastic the hoses are labeled real nice she said it got really hot so at least i'll show you the outside of the box stuff again that was pretty cool and i'll run down some of the um, specifications showed it's lightweight fully portable 
instant 24 hour easy to control on and off shower head 30 psi startup for your shower 2800 btus per hour you only need a 20 pound gas bottle you can use an anywhere water source well, we're running off for a five and pound has a five safety protection just to kind of ensure protection for you while using it but yeah it has pretty the, awesome. the, the safety sh shut offs and everything else it's a nice little unit pretty yes. portable and it says its net weight is only 15.2 pounds so, so it's let's not show that it real quick before we go and we're going to show you in the next week's video or in a couple of next week's videos we'll probably use it as a shower can't see but when you look at the shower head there's lots of multiple little openings and then there's those a lot of small that are kind of focused in the center which gives you that high power on that last setting so I have to say that's more powerful like I said when you go to the state park sometimes you get that little stream or you get not much of a stream this will make even showering outside really nice and enjoyable and plus it's warm water guys warm water super excited to try it as far as the shower feature so hopefully we'll get out and do that I can definitely say that we are and highly recommend that we are going to be using this all the time to do dishes because I hate having to boil up two, three, four pots of warm water to do dishes. And it doesn't take much water to be able to do our whole load and clean everything up and get everything nice and clean. So I highly recommend it. Like I said, we're just going to have to try to figure a good way to kind of mount it, maybe put like a side thing on here somehow that it can actually hold our hose. But I really like it. 